Now I've got Audi throttle. Oh yeah, that's noticeable. Wow, that's like a poor boy's remap. Hello folks, welcome to that Cruiser Cars. I'm here at home in my Golf R and there's a couple of coding changes that I wanted to try on this car that I've never tried before. Since we've got all this time where I can't really go and do much, I might as well just play around with my car. On a Volkswagen, the initial throttle response is very, very much like a curve, right? So it's based on a time where the initial the initial press of the throttle it starts off low and then the longer that you hold it it gradually ramps up the throttle response. I'm going to change that to more of an Audi style where it's a more of a linear curve of throttle and uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. One of them is through an adaption menu in steering assist and the other one is to change your engine coding to Audi. If you change your engine coding to Audi, you do run the risk of losing uh, cruise control but I wanted to play around with that as well and see if I could make it work. Volkswagen, the initial throttle response is very much like a curve. It's based on time and throttle response. So it starts off gradually and then it ramps up. Uh, versus on an Audi, it's more of a linear throttle response. So I'm going to play around with some coding changes to see if I can get that type of a feel and see if I notice it. So to make these coding changes, I'm using OBD11 and uh, I'm just going to go into the menu here and into adaptions and then I'm going to see if I can find that spot during assistance. It's under driver profile switch over, which is a very weird option for it, but that's where it is. And it's set for incremental controlled over time. We're gonna change this from incremental to be direct controlled over threshold value. That's going to change my throttle response. Okay, apply, apply, enter code. It's actually giving me the option here. You can just choose one of their pre-selected values. The first one should work. There we go, the option accepted. I'm gonna go for a drive, see if I can feel the difference as well as confirm that cruise control works and then beyond that, then I'll start playing around with some of the other settings, maybe play with that engine code one and see what that does. All right, so far so good. Adaptive cruise control is working with that throttle coding change. I'm approaching a car right now and the car is automatically slowing down for me. So it works, no coding errors with that small change. That's in the steering adaption to change it to the more linear throttle response barely noticeable but uh, I think it is there. The initial throttle response is definitely better. The other noticeable thing is that when you are gradually pressing the throttle the longer you hold it there at that one position it doesn't gradually increase in speed it stays linear so I do think it's a real thing. It's very minimal change but if you're looking for it you can kind of tell. I uh, just went for a drive and everything's working great, but I'm going to try and see if I can make it better. So I also went into the engine control module and I changed long coding of byte zero. My car was default zero nine. Byte zero zero to zero two. The Audi coding. I've gone into adaptive cruise control long coding and I've changed brand logic to Audi and uh, I've applied that. So we're going to go for a drive now and see do I notice a difference and does my cruise control still work. I'm very happy to report that with Audi engine module adapted and cruise control set to Audi, adaptive cruise control still works. Cruise control is on and functioning. It still has adaptive cruise with radar assist. It's working great approached an 80 kilometer an hour zone. I'm going fairly slow. I'm going to map the throttle. Now I've got Audi throttle everything. It's like a... Oh, yeah, that's noticeable. Wow, that's like a poor boy's remap. Wow. 
I've also now just noticed that by changing the adaptive cruise control to Audi style, when you adjust your speed, it jumps by increments of five instead of by 10. It always used to jump up by 10 kilometers an hour, now it does it by incre increments of five. So that's different. Okay, I'm at a full stop. I'm just gonna give a full throttle pull here. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh, that's good. Something else I wanted to show is that by turning on Audi style adaptive cruise control, I seem to have this now, which is last distance selected. I did not have that before. So it's gonna remember my distance as well as for um, dynamic road sign display, which is something I've enabled previously on another video. I now have this speed alert, which I never had before. It was always just, there was nothing. But now I, it, it has off visual or acoustic. So I'm gonna choose visual. And if I'm going more than 20 kilometers an hour over what the road sign display is, it will alert me visually, which is pretty cool. Now I have done a launch control now that I've gone to Audi style throttle input and I did notice that it seemed like my DSG slipped a lot more than it was used to. So instead of getting um, in first throttle, it seemed like it was slipping or retarding the ignition a bit. So there's an option that you can do to improve that too, which is called starting vibration reduction. I'm gonna turn this on now. This is how you do it. Uh, I don't see it. Starting vibration reduction. I do not see it. It might be named something else though, so I'm gonna keep looking. Okay, in the updated Mark 7s, Mark 7.5, what used to be called engine vibration reduction is now called rough road optimization. So choose that, and instead of it being activated, we're gonna deactivate. So the there we go. Maneuver parking function not currently available. Brake booster limited. All right, um, we'll play around with that. We'll see if I like it. Launch control. Oh. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Less clutch slip, more traction, more better. Still no wheel hop, and that's on a rough road. So, we're good to go. Alrighty guys, so I'd say that was pretty successful. So that was Audi style throttle response, Audi style linear throttle curve, Audi style adaptive cruise control, and then rough road optimization disabled. So that means it's gonna give more wheel spin, potentially more wheel hop, but being this is an all wheel drive Golf R, it seems to hook up just great. So, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new or in here, subscribe. If you wanna to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always,